How's it going everyone? I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm having a wonderful day because obviously it is Call of Duty Ghost release day. And I've got a bunch of videos on my channel. So if you missed any videos, they'll be, they'll be on my channel. So just check them out. And uh, yeah, pretty awesome. So today, bring you guys something which I, I thought would be quite interesting for you guys. It is the my it's the best class setup for level one or like for beginning on Call of Duty Ghost. Now the reason for this, the reason I'm gonna do this, I could have done a best class setup because I'm only level seven. I know a few good classes already for you guys who are starting early. So if you've just got the game or you're getting it tomorrow or whenever you're getting it, you want to know a few classes which, are, which will help you get into the game, you know, won't get you frustrated, will get you bang on par and you know what you're doing. You're spending your squad points on the correct items. So as you do, you're going to create a soldier. Now obviously Furlough was the person that I unlocked. Obviously these are the characters which you can unlock. These are like the 10 prestigious type things. So you, you go into my account. And to Fur, the person who I am playing with. Now, uh, you get six classes, and obviously each class costs more COD points, etc. At the moment, I've only got zero, as you can see in the top right corner, I've just spent some. And um, I was just in a private match, practicing a few, like, classes, and I basically found the best submachine gun class to use early on, and the best assault rifle to use earlier on. Earlier on? Early on. So, um, so yes, yeah, so I'm doing assault rifle and submachine guns, and I'll show you a, uh, a sniper class if you want to, and I'll show an LMG class and a shotgun class if you want to, but the most popular ones you guys said to me on Twitter were assault rifle and submachine guns. Okay, so for the Vector. So at the moment, I'm running the Vector with the uh, red dot sight extended mags. Pistol's not really a big thing at the moment because obviously, you know, you can buy pistols, but obviously that's a standard pistol. Running the frag grenade, the concussion grenades, and obviously you've got the perks and strike packages. So, best of machine guns. So, at the moment, like, so the bit zone is the one which you unlock straight away. It's uh, zero points. And um, you already have some squad points when you start the game. So, I brought the Vector. I brought the Vector. And, um,. The Vector is a very good choice. I played it at Eurogamer. It's a very good weapon indeed. If you watch my first impressions video, that was me using the Vector. Now, um, the Vector has, as you can see here, so obviously where the yellow bar is, that's the Vector. Go onto the B zone, the Vector outclasses it straight away. The only thing which is different, it has a more fire rate. So, um, you know, the Vector is very good, very accurate gun to use. So I recommend using the Vector from straight away. Now, what attachments do you recommend? So, um, the Iron Sight is a pretty good Iron Sight, but I went for the Red Dot Sight. It's only uh, three squad points, and uh, the Iron Sight, you know, it suited me well. Obviously, you can go for various scopes, but the Red Dot Sight, for me, was good. If you like the Iron Sight, don't go for the Red Dot Sight, just go for the Iron Sight standard. Now, um... Now, what do you else recommend? Do you recommend a silencer? Do you recommend extended mags? I recommend extended mags. In Call of Duty Ghost, extended mags will be key, especially when you haven't got sleight of hand because you unlock sleight of hand later on. But extended mags is very key, especially if you die really quickly. So, you know, you don't want to reload. If you see someone and you're about to reload and they see you first, you will die. So extended mags is the key. Now, I tried it with a silencer. I tried it in a private match. Silencer is not that good. It's okay, but it's not that great. With the when you go on the mod, choose extended mags. You get fifty percent more ammo. I think it's like forty-seven bullets, which is pretty good for a vector. And um, you will be getting those triple sprays, quad sprays. And I've done a triple spray, and I thought that was pretty good. So vector. So that is the class you want to run. Now, obviously, lethal standard frag grenade. Obviously, you can upgrade, but six squad points earlier on. You know, is it worth it? Probably not. Frag grenade is the key at the moment. Tactical like the same. You know. They're all six squad points. You could buy, with three squad points, you could buy the silencer and extender mags for that price. So, entirely up to you. Now, perks, honestly, I've kept my perks the same for each class. Now, so, obviously you get ten uh, points for your perks. So, um, well, no, you're not ten points, you get eight points. Because, obviously, there's two, four, six, and seven, eight. But, um, obviously, where the grid is, as you can see on the left here, like, you, if you don't have to add it up, it just shows you, like, the way it grows, like, the bigger the icon, it takes up more field, so it shows you how much you got left. So uh, I'm running the uh, ready up, so it's a weapon which is ready fast for sprinting. So just like lightweight pro in Modern Warfare 2. So after you're sprinting, very good for aiming down sight, especially for some machine because you'll be rushing a lot. Now optional, go for the steady aim. Steady aim is good, obviously for for you know when you want to have a hip fire range, which is pretty cool. Um, I've chosen the recon. The recon's good because if you chuck a set a like a grenade or a stun, or you hit someone. Like basically, if you if you tag them, you can see them through the door, see them through objects, and you can like see like an outer shape of their shadow, and you're easily able to kill them. So that's very good to go for. Scavenger, it's very good to get it earlier on. You know, if you're running around 
pick up those pick up the uh, scavenger bags it doesn't obviously replay replenish the um frag grenades or concussions it might do i mean i've i've had it happen to me before maybe that i was when i was picked up stuff from enemies but it replaces ammo scavenger is the very key to go for straight away I and mean, then obviously the icu regenerates health faster it doesn't generate that much quicker but especially when if you're you're dying and you're running around a corner you know it's vital to get your health regen straight away so you can go back into the battle and kill that guy who was shooting you so obviously you do have the option of a strong arm which so you can obviously throw grenades further you know stealth you know if you know this is the new perk by the way so if you do kill someone like the uh, crosshair doesn't show up or the uh, well the skull doesn't show up you've also got take no falling damage you know an additional tactical equipment which obviously works well with recon and obviously you've got the elite which is the gambler spawn and random perk but that's what i've chosen i recommend uh, scavenger and icu and steady aim and you can choose whatever you want to now the assault now, the strike package, you can either go for assault, the support, or specialist. Now, with the assault, you got the standard 3 5 10, so there's no point changing it earlier on. So, 3 5 10 is an okay uh, setup to go for. You go for the support if you want to. Um, support is a bit more. It's You basically you can run the 4 6 14, which is alright if you don't feel like getting those assault streaks. Support, obviously, whenever you die, you get to recontinue your kill streak. And specialist is very different this year. Instead of having specialists where you can have all the perks in the game, you have your perks which you chose earlier on, and then you get to choose eight perks after this. Well, like, eight points. So, um, you know, after eight kills, you get all these bonuses, and you can choose which perks you want to. Specialist's not as good as it used to be, but it's still powerful, and it's entirely up to you. So that is the Vector class. Now, the Assault Rifle I would go for is the SA805. Now, um, straight away, you get the SC2010. It's a perfect assault rifle to start off with. Get some squad points and upgrade to this gun. As you can see, obviously, the look at the yellow bar again. Look at the SC2010. As you can see, this gun has slightly bit more accuracy, but the, um, the SA has more damage, has more range, more fire rate. So, obviously, we're getting a bit more fire rate, more damage, and slightly less accuracy. So, it's best to upgrade to the SA805. A very good investment, and I highly recommend it. Now, um... I made the I made a bad decision here. I went for the red dot sight and I went for the silencer. Very good option to go for, but I realized when I spoke to you guys earlier about the vector, go for the extended mags. Don't go for the red dot sight, go for the extended mags unless you like the iron sight. I really enjoy the iron sight now. At first I was like, yeah, but I really enjoy the iron sight with extended mags. It's just like the ACR from Modern Warfare 3, Modern Warfare 2, so very good to go for. Like I said, go for the supp suppressor. You know, the silencer, that is perfect. You know, you can choose whatever you want, but I, for, to be deadly, use the extended mags and the silencer, and, um, or you can choose what you want, but I recommend this assault rifle. As again, same secondary, same lethal, same tactical, and the same perks, and the same assault package. Now, um, if you guys are interested in light machine guns, I haven't bought any light machine guns. Light machine guns are quite expensive. Now, um, obviously it's entirely up to you. I would recommend the same perk setup, the same assault setup. So basically, Choose your light machine gun, whatever you want to, and um, obviously from here recommending you got a six point streak. I mean you got a nine, you got six point, you got a six squad point weapon, and you got a nine squad point weapon. So um, you know some of these guns have loads. Of, like this chainsaw has like very bad accuracy. Well, it doesn't it has it has a lot. No, it has a very poor accuracy, but you know f fast fire rate. So entirely up to you. Uh, the marksman rifles are like I like sniper rifles, but they're like they're um, they're all semi-automatic. Where the sniper rifles are all some are bolt action and some are semi-automatic. The USR and the L115 are very highly recommended for assault for assault rifles for sniper rifles. Very good indeed. And so yeah, so the main ones I've covered is the Vector and the SA805 because that was most requested on Twitter. So let me know in the comments down below. If you try these classes out, let me know some classes you enjoy, and I may make another video. But anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. Follow me on Twitter, subscribe if you're new, like this video, comment down below. And anyway, guys, thank you guys for the support on Call of Duty Ghost, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a nice day, guys.